six is my era coach, I know that. Ooh. Jamaica, so if you never know, now you know. The best in the world is Jamaica. Barn and gold, black, green and gold. The island is a masterpiece from the creator. So we the sent a mass a rover, man, we go there. I shook the flag them from anywhere. And we love a king from above. Eternal Father of this Come you see me, you know if you ask one question Jamaica in my blood Never jump a ground, never tumble down Jamaica firm and strong I would like to thank my ancestors For these freedoms given to me Spirit of culture, Taki and Nani ah, We have the victory So if you never know, now you know in the world is Jamaica, Pan and gold, black, green and gold. We island is a masterpiece from the creator. So we from our room, down our own school, we go. We jump here, can heritage stuff. And we love a king from our home. I guess the eternal father of this. The blood of our slave was shed for me. We love my history. Liberation for the generation. Them story of my glory. Call yourself a Jamaican is to say that greatness is yours. Blue mountain in my heart and Rio Grande in my soul. If you never know, now you know. The best in the world is Jamaica. Hard and gold, black, green and gold. We island is a masterpiece from the creator. So we the sent a mass a rover, man, to go there. Just I stop the flag them from anywhere. Let me love a king from above. Yes, it's sticky, but what? Jaja still a bless we. 
Love unity, happiness is here and not leaving. Beautiful girl with pretty curls, she been dancing. Throw the people all around, I hear them chanting. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. The pearl of the West Indies. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. Number one in the Caribbean. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. The pearl of the West Indies. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. Number one in the Caribbean. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. The pearl of the West Indies. Reggae, 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 Jamaica. Number one in the Caribbean. The sun rises over the mountain top. 96 degrees when it's hot in a Jamaica. Jamaica. I've been away for a long time. Far from the sunshine. Far in nice, but only in the summertime. I miss the beaches and the rivers and the fun. Music playing loud and the people showing love. It no matter if me living up abroad. Where things is not so bad, no, we're no better than the yard. So why not listen to the bad views and the talk? Things is not so bad as the plane touch the tar. Home is like home. It's like home. When I'm in Jamaica. When I'm in Jamaica. It feels like home. It's like home. Let me tell you about home. It feels like home. When I'm in Jamaica. without problems everywhere you have them it's up to us to solve them i'm an anger on them though we cry with a spiral we're fighting for survival still not leave the island won't stay away too long and it no matter if me live in the snow want you to know that i have a place to go where the vibes like a river just a flow and the cool breeze a blow and the cheese them just a grow home feels like home when I'm in Jamaica, it feels like home. Let me tell you about home. Feels like home. When I'm in Jamaica, it feels like home. Sunrise over the mountain top. 96 degrees when it's hot in a Jamaica. Jamaica Sunrise over the mountain top 96 degrees when it's hot in a Jamaica Jamaica I've been away for a long time Far from the sunshine, far in nicer, only in the summertime. I miss the beaches and the rivers and the fun. Music playing loud and the people showing love. And it no matter if me living up abroad, where things is not so bad, no we're no better than the yard. And I now listen to the bad views and the talk. Things is not so bad as the plane touch it are. Oh, feels like oh. Manchester, Jamaica, Jamaica. Hey, feels like home. Feels like home. Let me tell you about home. Feels like home. When I'm in Jamaica, when I'm in Jamaica, it feels like home. Feels like home. Hey, that's my home. home. Tell you about home. Feels like home. When I'm in Jamaica, when I'm in Jamaica. Yeah. When it's hot in a Jamaica, Jamaica, he's like home.
we started to have a little talk about everything about the situation and this is what he says we need more love more love more love more love on the land say the crime is getting high we need more love on the land we need more love more love more love more love on the land so much things is going wrong we need the father in our plan then i tried on to all of us to look for my cousin tanya to ask her how is life and things and things and things then we started to have a little talk about everything about the situation and this is what she says we need more love more love more love more love on the land say the crime is getting high we need more love on the land we need more love more love more love more love on the land so much things is going wrong we need a father you know a plan Then I trod on to Clarendon to look for my family into a little district of trade light. That's where I was born. Then we started to have a little talk together, together about the situation. And this is what they say. We need more love, more love, more love, more love and the love. Say the crime is getting high, we need more love on the land. We need more love, more love, more love, more love on the land. So much things is going wrong, we need a father in our plan. We need more love, more love, more love, more love on the land. Say the crime is getting high, we need more love on the land. We need Getting high, we need more love on the land. We need more love, more love, more love, more love on the land. So much things is going wrong. We need a father in our plan. We need more love, more love, more love, more love. So 
your MC for this afternoon, Mr. Owen Blacker Ellis. <laughs> Clap him. Good afternoon, wonderful people. Loud and nice and sweet. Hello, Amina. Hello, Neto. Hello, Colleen. Hello, everybody. May I invite you all to stand for the playing of the national anthem. Thank you very much. And now let's welcome Mr. Hamish Murphy, Protocol and Guest Relations Officer, JCDC, to lead in prayer. Please remain standing for prayer. Let's pray. Loving Father and God of all, Today we stand in awe that by your very words you penned all of creation 
and breathe into man's lungs, awakening us to the beauty of creativity and life. Before the dawn of creation, you wrote every word of this glorious story. Divine author, you sketched every character. You laid out the plot line, utilizing every flaw to portray your own strength and love through the life of your only begotten son, Jesus Christ. So we thank you for this day that you have made, that indeed we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we pray today for your blessing, your guidance, your vision and wisdom, as we celebrate with those who will be awarded from the categories of poetry, plays, essays, short stories and novels in the Jamaica Creative Writing Competition and as we launch the exhibition of their works. We also want to thank you, Lord, for the partnership with our many sponsors, including the National Library and the Jamaica Library Service in hosting the exhibition. We pray that this will increase the readership. We pray for the many opportunities that will be birthed from this competition and that you will give the Jamaican people the chance to fulfill their full potential. God, we thank you for the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission that continues to unearth, develop, showcase, and preserve the best of Jamaica's culture. Thank you for all those that work tirelessly in this regard. Continue to grant wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the organizing unit. May you bless them. Sustain them, Lord, and continue to inspire solutions that will give young people and the elderly a future filled with hope. Guide today's proceedings, we ask. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You may be seated. This is the Jamaica Creative Writing Competition and Exhibition Award Ceremony and Exhibition Launch. And I'm sure in the audience there are some proud parents and proud family and proud friends and a proud community and many proud writers who will receive awards this afternoon. Writing is the right thing. Wouldn't you agree? And in a world of darkness, writing is a bright thing. Yes. Oh, my son. Yes. I could have entered that, don't it? It wouldn't have been a thing. <laughs> Let us now invite to bring you the official welcome, Mr. Mr. Andrew Broadbur, Director, Arts Development and Training at the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission. Please applaud Mr. Broadbur. Thank you so very much, sir. Good to be in your company. Good, good MC we have here today, not you? Yes, yes man, Blacker. And I expect you to do something more. While you do your official duties, we need to be able to laugh the same way like you always do. So you try to put on two hot while you come up here, not you? Okay, sir? Okay. Yeah, man, yeah, man, he knows how to do this. It is my distinct pleasure to greet you in this capacity. Some of you may have known me in another capacity, but here I am, same way, at the JCDC, serving the best I can. And of course, to really make you feel welcome. You are all winners. This room is filled with winners. And one of the things that we do for winners, even if it's you do for yourself, is put your hands together and acknowledge the fact that you are a winner. Dr. Amin, I mean, I want your clap small. I want your clap big and show the people them. Big, big things are going on in here, so today. So welcome. It's an official welcome. We know the growth that takes place. Some of you, you will build your career. Some of you, for the very first time, you realize that your creativity is worth something. Because you took it for granted all along. And there are others who have written that says to us, Later on in history, we're going to find out that what you captured about your little neck of the woods and so on. I'm not the guest speaker. I'm just taking liberty. I don't know what she will say. But I know that sometimes when we capture something, 
Like I said to somebody, you like um, custard apple? And the young person say, what? Me say, you have ever eaten maca fat? And them say, say what? What is that? And I call some other fruits and some other lovely things that we have growing. Sweet cup, sweet cup. The one that you knock open with a rock or with a hammer, huh? You mean, the, and, and you know, some of us who grew up in the country, we know what these things are. They don't grow in Kingston anymore, hardly. Or people don't know them. You certainly can't buy them in the supermarket. So when a writer come now and say, in my, however them can write good, maybe me can't write so good. In my backyard grows the custard apple and grows the this and the that. And you might think it is so simple and my little bush thing. It come to serve as history later on. When the young people them say, me never know them something you grow in Jamaica. Me personally, Granadilla, that poem when me used to do festival and me used to go speech. Yes, me look at me. And me used to hear the performer. They made mostly girls used to perform that poem, but me didn't like how it sound because I'd call out the things that made me like to eat. And one of the things that me never know we could eat was Granadilla. And I'm like, what is a Granadilla? So even to today, me, I had a plant growing in a pot because I must have that exotic thing that most people don't know about and don't know what it is, named Granadilla in some other place, them call it buttercup. So one of my friends, me talking to where come from St. Mary say, but that is buttercup what you're describing to me and we have it grow stone um, dog as picnic because we had it so much and so forth. So I'm just saying to you, that's just an example. What you put on paper, you may not understand the supreme value to Jamaica and the future because you took the moment to write down that thing. And another thing about writing too, you will realize if that breeze blow on you and you make it pass, you can't capture it back. If a poem is coming to you while you're driving, stop. Pull over and write it because any how you reach a stoplight and something else happen, it's gone and it will never return at least the way it was coming to you at that moment so i have been driving i got too long i have been driving and i had other people with me and me end up saying to them since we later me can't stop me i go talk and you go ride because as i'm driving through this place something is coming to me we can't afford to stop but you write for me and even palm party paper somebody write and that poem eventually is in a poetry book. I don't talk about my poetry book because Minister Agos say that is nepotism. <laughs> but some of those poems end up in poetry book for others to read and to enjoy. So that's only one era. We know the poets are here. We know the playwrights are here, the essays, the novelists, and all the different writers you are here in your glory. I'm not going to talk long. I'm just going to say feel welcome. This is your place today. Feel welcome. We appreciate you and we know that you will be entering again next year and the tradition of excellence continues. Clap yourself, writers. Thank you. Welcome. I'm not going to talk long. <laughs> but I can't talk long because I'm short. But I'm not short on nothing. <clears throat> I remember being guest speaker for a, a previous edition of this award ceremony and I kept in my speech referring to young writers encouraging all these young writers young writers and then I saw the first writer step up was Patricia Reed Wall <coughs> who, is, who is not young <laughs> but she's a writer are you the part? you're a young writer you <laughs> let's now hear special remarks um, from Mr. Lenford Salmon, ODJP, Executive Director of the JCDC. Mr. Salmon. Clearly. How much, how long do you know, Blacker? I won't, won't embarrass you too, away. It's so just a long time. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Want to hear about Bello and Blacker, right? Yeah. Well, our dear friend Blacker is in another place, and Bello is in another place now. But there was a thing that used to go around. We couldn't figure out which is the Blacker one. 
You remember that blacker? Bellow. Bellow was a blacker one. Yeah, so it, it used to cause some confusion when people say, we still can't figure out who is Bello and who is Blacker. But Bello has gone to a different place, different place, and I really miss him. Uh, and I'm not going to talk long. <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, Blacker Ellis, uh, esteemed guest speaker, Dr. Spencer, uh, their festival queen, and other queens represented here, the senior staff and other staff members at the JCDC. We also welcome, you just walked in, uh, one of our commissioners, so legislator. I'm not spotting any other commissioners, commissioners around. Other colleague, esteemed colleagues in the audience, I see my colleague Amina and her family gathered gathered here. Friends, all, awardees, everyone. Mr. Broadbars already gave the welcome. I couldn't quite figure out, Blacker, maybe you can help me. What's the difference between welcome and greetings? One of how I want to glad you come. Okay. Well, I'm glad for soon. Well, the staging of these awards ceremony, and I'm giving something for read, so I read, I read. The staging of these awards ceremonies is an indication of the importance that the JCDC play continues to place on nurturing and promoting the literary arts in Jamaica. This JCDC creative writing competition has a very rich history of discovering and promoting the creative talents of writers, whether they are beginners, blacker, semi-professionals or professionals, and this year is of course no exception. We have received a wide range of submissions, submissions each one unique, on contributing to our national identity. As we embark on this exciting journey through the world of words, it's essential to remember that literature is a powerful tool for connecting people, sharing stories, and fostering understanding. It has the capacity to transcend boundaries, time, and unite us in a shared experience. It's a platform for self-expression, creativity, and a reflection of our collective consciousness. Today, we join in acknowledging the dedication and hard work of the participants who have poured their hearts and souls into their literary works. Your words, my dear creative, has the potential to inspire, challenge even, and move us, and for that, we are eternally grateful. To our judges, who have the formidable task of selecting the winners from such a wealth of talent pool, we thank you for your commitment to the art of discern discernment and your expertise in recognizing excellence. I also extend deepest appreciation to our sponsors, as mentioned earlier, whose support ensures that this competition continues to thrive. Your belief in the power of the written word and the importance of fostering creativity in our nation is indeed commendable. But today is not just about the competition, it's about celebrating the beauty of storytelling, the magic of words, and the boundless potential of our creative minds. Together, we are helping to shape the future of literature in Jamaica and contributing to the preservation of our cultural heritage. Uh, all of us at the JCDC are indeed very excited to witness the literary treasures that will rise to the top today and be awarded. And to see these stories, poems, and essays resonate with our audience. But let's not forget that there are others other than the winners who are recognized here today. As mentioned earlier, we, they, we are all winners. All who enter, we regard you as winners. We recognize the hard work that you two have put into putting pen to paper. And I'm quite sure putting pen to paper resonates with all the young people here today. But I figure I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the drift. Right? And talking about drift, often we forget that some of our songwriters and um, when you notice how drift gone across the world, or TJ Tech is drifting gone across the world. Every 
TikTok pop up on my phone now. It's somebody somewhere in Russia or somewhere. I do the drift. But the TJs of this world, and as we know, with, um, not to mention the Malis of this world and so on, they're all poets, you know. And they have excelled in their own field. So we don't want to forget them at all. But enough of the talking thing. Myself and Mr. Broadbutt take up enough time already. Let's get the show on the road. I don't make any pretense of being a poet. So let me get off this platform pretty quickly so the real poets can be awarded. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. Yeah, I know you a long time. I know you when you're born here and when you grow here. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll be giving awards for people. I wanted to say, let me, it is now the first day of November, right? Yeah. May I therefore be among the first to wish you all a Cherry Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> and I pray that there be no shaking in your life. Oh <laughs> Anybody can tell about Monday? That's a whole poem, you know? Yeah. Monday is a whole... It, 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 listen to me. I just had to respond like James Bondo when he's offered a drink. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> but that was properly shaken, properly stirred. <laughs> anyway, let's now get into some performance before we start the, the, the awards. Eh? And I'm welcome to share in a musical performance Ms. Erika Chambers. <laughs> and she's a queen. Clap the queen! Good afternoon, everyone. I know you know this one, so just sing along. Who can wings fly and I'll rise, I'll rise. See, I'm hurt and burned, I'm broken down, but I won't die. I'll rise, I'll rise. Soon I will reach the, the sky and still Right. They don't understand. Oh, oh, oh. When just an ordinary man or girl can fight and win and push the will, I can take it. I can make it. I'll rise. I'll rise. Down, but I won't die. I'll rise, I'll rise. Soon I will reach the, the sky and still I rise. Oh, soon I will reach, reach the sky and still I Reach the sky and still I rise. Thank you. Miss Chelani Festival Queen. Clap her one more time. A confession, please. Please permit me to confess. It's not bad mind, bad mind. But I have a bit of an envy for singers. She does sing nice, so. And she make it look easy, right? Yes. To the point where I almost want to sing now. No Beatles don't sing. I love singing, you see. But I love it, but, but I learned that sometimes the things we love, we're not good at. <coughs> and the things we're good at, we don't love. But I don't love good joke, you know. I don't love guitar. Why are you laughing? I love singing though. God, I love singing. What's that tune? <laughs> Let me invite uh, my beloved former student, 
Mr. Damien Radcliffe to introduce our guest speaker. You may come. Thank you so much, Sir Ellis. Lord, the short. I'm not going to talk long. It's an absolute pleasure to introduce our distinguished guest speaker for today's event. Dr. Aisha Spencer is a remarkable educator and literary scholar whose impact reaches far and wide. Currently a senior lecturer in language and literature education at the University of the West Indies Mona campus and deputy dean in the Faculty of Humanities and Education, Dr. Spencer brings almost 25 years of experience in teaching and is instrumental in training prospective teachers over for the past 17 years. Dr. Spencer's contribution to literary world also includes co-editing an anthology of Caribbean poetry titled Give the Ball to the Poet, her research and publication spans various aspects of Caribbean literature with a focus on Caribbean children's literature, Caribbean girlhood, literature education, and post-colonialism, among others. Beyond her academic roles, Dr. Spencer has conducted numerous workshops on literature, emphasizing the teaching of poetry. She has played a pivotal and is chief adjudicator for the JCDC's short story competition. Dr. Spencer's passion for education and inclusivity is evident through her No More Hiding campaign, where she empowers secondary school students with interactive poetry sessions. With her leadership roles, international involvement, and research interests, Dr. Spencer is a true advocate for the transformation transformative power of education and literature. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in extending a warm welcome to our beloved and esteemed Dr. Aisha Spencer. Oh boy. <laughs> that would make one nervous, right? Good afternoon, everybody. Isn't it awesome to be here? Just sit and just the music and the vibe and the energy, it's, it's awesome. It's such an honor. Um, Orardees, where are you? Just put your hands in the air. Come on, man. Put your hands in the air. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations to you all. We're a part of the adjudication process, so we feel it. Okay? We absolutely feel it. It is a moment I want you to feel, okay? I want you to understand it's a moment that's doused with significance and value and purpose. Wanna believe that? I hope you do. It is a hallmark moment and you all have different journeys. As uh, Mr. Broadway was saying earlier, you have different journeys but you are on your unique journeys and it's important for you to stop and celebrate. And it's also important for you to recognize the uniqueness of that journey because we all, we don't want anybody doing the same thing. We're not meant to be the same person. We're not meant to do the same thing, all right? So today I want to share with you just a few thoughts on the idea of stories as bridges, and I just, I just, I never know about that advertisement thing over there, right? So I'm not advertising for them, but, <laughs> but my focus is stories as bridges today. And when I speak of stories, I want you to see stories as those narratives we tell through plays and poetry, through the essays, through the novels, through the frame of the story itself. And stories are also present in our conversations with each other, or we can see or become a part of them as we walk or drive by pockets of places. A helper who is hanging out clothes on the line, a mother scurrying along on the side of the road to get her young ones to school, her face intently set and her feet moving in ways that defy the laws of gravity. A bank teller parking his car who is late, and knowing what will result from that tardiness, and a child with a lollipop in her mouth, savoring its flavor, hardly too, because she should not be eating sweets. And if her mother finds out, her brief moments of pleasure will be out of the window instantly. 
stories are everywhere. If it, is, it is not simply the images and the feelings that stories create that cause them to have the kind of impact that they do. It is what they reveal about ourselves, about others, about the world around us. It is how they help us to live through them. I don't know if you can feel that, but that's a powerful thing. It is that paradoxical back and forth playing around with what is real and what could be possible, what is relevant and what could become necessary. It is that stories provide us with that bridge that allows us to discover who we are, to share who we are, to function in ways that give meaning and presence to otherwise silenced almost ghosts of thoughts that we have buried somewhere along the experience of life. Stories not only reflect and mirror, they also create. It is part of the anatomical function of art. The challenge is to capture them, to represent them, to tell them. And so in whatever art form we manage to do that, we truly ought to celebrate the process that led to the created piece, that led to the representation of voices that would otherwise have remained what? Unheard and people that would have otherwise stayed unseen. It is where the power of the story lies, to function as a bridge that can be used to help us to cross paths that we never thought we could, to connect with characters and situations which teach us how to navigate our human existence and find value in the various realities we encounter throughout our lives. And you see, as readers, it is easy to forget the privilege we have to enter into the imaginary spaces which creative writing constructs. So we begin reading and then we're off. But if someone had not bothered to write, to relate an experience, to treasure that moment enough to create it or replicate it or reflect it, we would have had no access to it. We would lose the experience of it, whatever the experience was, whoever that experience could have pulled us toward. And our lives, our perspectives, our hopes would become restricted and limited, would become harnessed by the cage realities that sometimes lock us in, close us off from dreams and growth and entry into the world, a world of the unknown. Stories allow us to reach beyond the confines of our physical bodies. Did you, did you stop to think about that? Do you realize that? Sometimes even the restricted perspectives of our own minds and allow us to function as, they function as the medium through which we can become transported, not as aliens, <laughs> as real human beings, to other worlds and to multiple layers of other experiences. So I'm going to take a moment, you know, and ask that you give a rousing, warm hand of applause for the team, the Jamaica Creative Writing Competition and Exhibition team, please. <laughs> this space is a highly significant space. It is an incredible space that is not just revealing some of our most outstanding talents in the area of creative writing, but it now functions as an instrument that will be used to create and to sustain individual and communal identities, enable connections among past, present, and future cultural timelines, provide an avenue and medium for the important practice of representation, of cult cultivating creativity and originality to ensure the continued development of creative writing in this country. That's a big deal. For the awardees here today, and for writers everywhere, really, I just want to spend the next couple minutes, I'm not going to be long, I should just say that, right? <laughs> I'm going to try, right? Um, just to allow you to see the power of what you do through the inscription of your stories, no matter what form those stories take. So let's look at how stories function as bridges, and they do that in many ways, but I'm going to focus on four. So stories function as bridges because they enable access. Access to different experiences and different worlds. But guess what? Also access to our own hearts, to our own intellects, to an understanding of ourselves that we simply were not able to attain just by going from daily task to daily task, 365 days of the year. 
Stories give us the access we need to see what is in us, to discover who we are, to think of who we might become. They become the light for the various burial grounds that we have erected throughout our own lives for ourselves. They become the fuel for the hope that things will get better, that new can come from old, and that life can come from death. When our craft evolves as writers, readers and audiences are given the chance to interact with the various forms, structures and symbols in the text which prompt that process of evolving. When our craft is not restricted to simply what we have seen before on one side of the bridge, it becomes flexible. It allows itself to become different things for different people. It engages with acts of transformation that shifts paradigms and produce alternate modes of existence. Stories function as bridges also because they help us to connect, and that was said earlier, to connect different parts of our lives that have been scattered by all we have been through, to connect with others and their experiences and allow us to develop empathy and love and sisterhood and brotherhood, to allow us to know that it could, what it actually could feel like to be our brother's or our sister's keeper. Something we hear all the time, but living it is another thing. To feel an experience that we have never had before and feel it in such a way as though we have had it, that it changes us, that it transforms the way we communicate with each other, the way we treat each other, the way we see each other. So stories function as bridges because also they create avenues or pathways of healing individually and communally, and the judges will know what I'm talking about because they saw what came into us. COVID hit us real in 2020, and some people are still struggling. When you think of poems, stories, plays, essays, on terminal illnesses and the huge effect they have on families, when you are given entry into the mind of a character who is dying, or the wife who is observing her husband slowly moving to another realm, devoured by HIV or a diabetic condition that feels so totally out of control. When you are pulled into the world of a girl who has had such an abusive childhood that she makes wrong choices about partners and gets lost in her own cycle of feeling abandoned and rejected. When you hear a son's plea to his father to own him, to be a part of his life, to be more than just an absent figure behind a name laced with negative connotations and bitter remarks. When those avenues are opened up to us through stories, we can sit with ourselves, reunite with versions of who we were, and begin to understand what others may need a little better than we did before. And guess what? In more practical ways, stories allow us to heal to heal ourselves and to become instruments of healing that will help to heal those around us and to positively transform our nation, not in an abstract, vague way, in a very measurable, precise, and some simple ways. Finally, stories function as bridges because they allow us to expand our landscapes, mental, emotional, physical, artistic, however you want to characterize those landscapes. They allow us to cross over to new territory, to transcend cut-off points, to expand our horizons, to grow, to evolve, to become more, and by becoming more, to build our capacities to give more. The more we're able to give through stories, the more others can receive from them. The more we can expand our landscapes, the more we will see of our world and the more room we will give our own minds to create alternatives, to establish unconventional pathways, to open doors which would have been otherwise labeled as closed, to move forward even when there is no path in sight, to recognize the power which lies in the skill set and abilities of the creative, to change the course of a nation, to transform the experience of a region by seeing what has never been seen. In narrative studies, there are two main situations which can impact the life of a story. The existence of an untold story and the presence of what we call narrative erasure, where a story is told, but someone or something significant is completely left out, completely made invisible, silenced, and the story becomes lost or inaccessible. 
I don't want to echo Blacker's thing about the singing, right? I'm not here to sing. <laughs> but Shaggy and Chronix have a song entitled Bridges. Anybody know it? Really? Shaggy and Chronix would not be pleased. <laughs> I'm just going to sing two lines. I'm going to sing two lines. Gonna easy with me, right? <laughs> and it's part of the refrain that they sing. And it's about bridges and it says, I bet you wish you never burned that bridge. Oh no, because now you'd like to cross it. I'm not going to sing it with me one more time. I bet you wish you never burned that bridge. Oh no, because now you'd like to cross it. It's a very simple song, but a very powerful story. And I would like to use that part of the story they're telling through their song to encourage all of you receiving an award today and all of you who have both the desire and the gift to tell stories, whether you've been telling them from a long time or you've just started. And in their various forms, not just the novel or the short story, don't burn your bridges. Do not hide your stories. Do not sweep them under the carpet or decide you can't be bothered. Or think of the weight they might bring momentarily and determine that it's too much for you to push and go through. I ask you not to burn your bridges by not giving your writing the time of day it should be given. I ask you to not burn your bridges by not giving your writing the time of day it should be given. Did you, did you hear it? Because so many people have so much inside but have not made the time to get it out. The disciplined approach that your story needs for it to be created, for it to blossom, for it to become published, for someone to be given access to what you have carried and felt the need to share. I ask you to not burn your bridges by assuming that talent is enough, that an inspiration is enough, that an idea is sufficient. I ask you to recognize that for there to be an impactful product, there has to be an effective process. That for you as writers to connect with readers, you have to think of who they could be. You have to think about your persona, your character, your hero, your villain. You have to know your craft if you desire your craft to seep into the minds of, and hearts of people who are not moved by superficiality, who will not be pulled in by insincerity or by quickly made up characters and events and plots that either drag on too long or occur too swiftly and leave the reader hanging, not out of curiosity and excitement, but out of disappointment and a hope that there would have been more. Writing takes work. Writing takes heart. Writing takes patience. It is not a hurry come up kind of activity. And even when there's a spurring on of thought or an inspired moment, it is your passion that you need to keep going. It is your desire to tell your story. It is your hope that you will represent and give voice to those who have been inadequately represented or silenced. It is crucial to understand not just the power of who you are as an artist or as a writer, but also the power of your story because of all that has been poured into it, because of all that has gone into shaping it so that it can now leave you and do its work. And AI, when it comes to you writing, can you produce the quality and standard of AI pieces? Get some of the arguments, we've heard the arguments, and I understand fully that we cannot be going around replicating original work and the personae of writers. But I also know that AI can never be us that AI can never achieve the connectedness, the fused together threads of our intimate experiences of life. That for AI to function, it needs our inputs. And so I would say, as we have been doing, manage the use of technology. Allow it to serve you within the frames of morality, justice, and integrity. But recognize that with each new day, you have the opportunity to think differently, to choose differently, and to become more. Your creative powers are absolutely limitless and are only restricted by the decisions that you make. Use your stories as bridges 
to allow access, to connect with others, to inspire hope, to create avenues of healing, and to expand your landscapes. Your stories have the power to transform your own lives and the lives of those around you. So I encourage you to keep telling your stories, to keep building your bridges, and to keep sharing your unique perspectives with the world. Let us continue to celebrate the power of stories and the transformative impact that they can have on our lives and on our communities. Thank you so much. Only can do better than that. <laughs> Clap her. It's a small token, but I must say to you, your story was beautiful. We could sit here and listen. The minute she started, you were like, what's going on? <laughs> no, you're all we. Big up yourself. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much for taking time out. Um, and here's a little token of our appreciation. Um, I just want to also ask you very quickly, could we just say happy belated birthday? Yesterday was her birthday, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And look, I'm going to flap tall man now. <laughs> it's not happy belated. It's belated happy. Because the birthday is not late. Are your greetings late? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dr. I. Thank you for that wonderful thought about stories at the bridges. So, Dr. Amina Blackwood makes with a story. It will be a bridge builder. She built a bridge from here to Africa, you know? I thought I was home, she was building a gun, you know? Dr. Amina, go and build them bridge there, here. Yeah? And a healer, yes. Yes, indeed. So, we're going to move into the awards. Some quick words on that, though. I want to just encourage those of you who are going to be anxious to take pictures to just not crowd at the front. Um, and prevent the rest of us from seeing the awardees are, um, receiving their awards. So please don't all rush to the front with their, with their cameras, with their phones, and your other cameras. We really appreciate that. We're going to invite the awardees when you're announced to enter from this side and to exit on that side. And just keep it moving. We have plenty of awardees and Wallipa Awards for merit and bronze and silver and gold. I may have a certain co worker who will get an award. And I was a judge and I couldn't know who write what. Got the name there and there, which can be frustrating. But it's a good thing. We don't know who we're judging and how. Right, Dr. Aisha? And we have serious arguments about the quality of the work. As, as we celebrate with our guest speaker, a birthday passed yesterday. We all say, happy birthday, and like How old are you now? And folks always say, age is just a number. Not true. It's a word. And words are, are full stories. And stories are bridge, bridges, don't it? <laughs> There's some story behind that. So we're going to do the, the, the words of poetry, short stories, essays and plays and we're gonna go right into the presentation of awards the creative writing contest is utterly contested and people of the highest caliber enter this contest it's not it's not some amateur contest i will tell folks that dennis scott's uncle time won a silver several years ago that no timeless poem so I'm going to enter next year. I'm going to enter everything. I'm going to enter short story, long story. Well, short story is it for me. And they may can do a tall story. And Mr. Brother will, will, do, will do not talk too long story. So we're going to go into the awards now. So the awards um, in the bronze category. And some person may, may win several things. We're going to call them one time for all their awards. So Starting with the awards in bronze, bronze awards from the parish of Manchester, 
we have, and I hope I get these names correctly. If I don't, please fix it for me. Sigale Monique Walters. Oh, the, the, okay. Thank you, tall man. <laughs> and the first ever award are being presented by Andrean Cameron, Miss Jamaica Festival Queen 2023. And Bronze Awards from Manchester, Sigale Monique Walters. Shanil Sunanon. Sunanon. From St. Catherine, Zoe Marie Harris, bronze. From Manchester, Carol Maxine Robertson, bronze. <laughs> Clap them! Bronze award from, from Clarendon, Dorrit Smith. Dorrit Smith, and from Kington and St. Andrew. Gianna McKenzie, Kingston and St. Andrew. Keep the applause going, keep the love flowing as they come. Gianna, congratulations. And from, from Trelawney, Jean Malcolm. Jean Malcolm from Trelawney Bronze Award and from St. Anne, Kwashiba Cunningham. Kwashiba Cunningham. Receiving the award for Jean Malcolm. And next we have from St. James, Tia Foot. <laughs> Tia Foot, St. James, Bronze Awardee. And from St. Elizabeth. Koshiba <laughs> Cummings is just doing her Cummings. <laughs> and that Koshiba going. <laughs> Tiffany. Hilton from St. Elizabeth. From St. Beth, Tiffany Hilton. Congratulations. And next we are from St. Anne, uh, Andreen Stevenson Johnson. Followed by Kingston and St. Andrew, Denise Roan. Congratulations, and also a bronze award from KSA, Errington Johnson, <laughs> King Finance and Andrew. <laughs> from St. Mary, Jasmine Eccleston. Jasmine Eccleston. Jasmine Eccleston. <laughs> Errington Johnson.
Jasmine? Jasmine Eccleston, congratulations. From Kingston and St. Andrew, bronze awardee, Rikayla Campbell. Rikayla Campbell. Rikayla Campbell, followed by Shaquin Fraser. Shaquin Fraser. Woo, woo, woo! I love the excitement. Next, from St. James, Sherilyn Avery Black. Sherilyn Avery Black. Followed by Franz Brown. And these are merit awards. Kingston and St. Andrew, Franz Brown. Sherilyn Avery Black, that's you? Oh, either way. Oh, either way. Franz Brown. Franz, oh, yeah, for Franz Brown. Franz Brown's proud mommy. Congrats, Sherry. And from all the way in Westmoreland, next we have Maxine Martin. Maxine Martin, followed by St. Andrew, Rachel Anderson. And you can check what they're getting their awards for if you look into the program. The program has all the details. So please read the programs. It's been written by good writers. <laughs> so please to read it. There are great stories there with all the details. And we're moving next to St. Catherine, Renardo Lewis, Merit Award. Renardo Lewis. Come on with yourself. Congrats. <laughs> Followed by Shekina Wright. Or the Shekina. Shekina. Shekina Wright or Shekina Wright. And in Saint, from St. Catherine, Stacy and Smith. So thank you, Madam Festival Queen. And we move to the next awardees being presented by Miss, Mr. George Legister, Deputy Chairman, JTDC Board of Commissioners. Stacey and Smith sent... Stacey and Smith, St. Catherine. Right. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Mr. Legislator now. Thank you, sir. Mr. Commissioner, sir. And the first award you to get from Mr. Legislator is Stacey and Smith, St. Catherine. Sorry, Tyrone Bernard. Tyrone Bernard. <laughs> Tyrone Bernard, St. Catherine. Followed by... Ayana Mulgrave Trelawney. Tyrone Bernard. From Ayana Mulgrave from Trelawney. Ayana, there you are. Ayana Merit Award, Ayana Mulgrave from Trelawney, followed by Kingston and St. Andrew, Erisha Montague. Erisha Montague. Keep the applause going. Encouragement, sweet and labor. And writing is, in fact, a labor of love. Ayana Mulgrave, Trelawney, Erisha Montague, Kingston and St. Andrew. And next we are from Trelawney, Merit Award for Winsome Harper. Winsome Harper.
followed by from St. Elizabeth, Ken Lloyd Smith. Ken Lloyd Smith. Ken Lloyd, you have fans. <laughs> Ken Loy Smith from St. Elizabeth Merit Award. You can check your program for the details of this award, category, and so on. Next, we are from good old KSA, Kristen Lang. Kristen Lang. Kingston and St. Andrew. Kristen Lang. Merit Award for Kristen Lang, followed by from Trelawney. Samuel Foster Grant. Samuel Foster Grant. Congratulations, sir. And next we are from St. James, Daniel Day. Daniel Day. Mr. Day, Mr. Day, Mr. Day. Oh. Daniel Day. All at 6 p.m. I'm still named Daniel Day. From St. Catherine, Daniel Munda. Daniel Munda. Daniel Munda. What a big little man. Big up young writers like him and Patricia Reedwall. <laughs> Daniel Munda. And next we have from Clarendon, Janice Maxwell McKenzie. Janice. And again, please keep checking your program for details. Category Merit Award. From Kingston and St. Andrew, next we have Merit Award for Kareen Edwards Brown. Kareen Edwards Brown. Woo woo! This long time girl may never see you. Come, let me hold your hand. Kareen Edward Brown from Kingston and St. Andrew. From Trelawney. Next, we have Paulette Lymond. Paulette Lymond. Another young writer. Big up the young writers. <laughs> Age is not just a number, it's a word, a loaded word that tells many stories. From St. Anne, Yvette Fraser. Yvette Fraser from St. Anne, Merit Award. And next we are from Trelawney, Bathsheba Harris. From Trelawney, Bathsheba Harris, Merit Award. And Bathsheba is followed by, from the parish of Clarendon, Desiree Francis. Desiree Francis, where are you, Desiree? Wave your hand. There you are. Desiree Francis is followed by, followed by Kingston St. Andrew, Tishana Berger. Desiree Francis and Tishana, Tishana Berger. Congratulations, Tishana and Desiree. Followed by Abigail Mundle. Abigail, where are you? Go, Abigail! Abigail.
Cody Gale from St. James, Silver Award. Next Silver Award from St. James, Shadir Green. Big up the wonderful young writers. Thank you, Mr. Legislator. Thank you so much. And next to present the, the following awards, we have Nepatra Bennett, Corporate Planner from Universal Service Fund, to present the next set of awards. And the first award you to receive from Ms. Bennett is Professor Opal Palma Adisa. I don't see prof. Next we have from Clarendon Silver Award to Althea Simone Grant. Althea Simone Grant. Followed by from Kingston and St. Andrew. From Kingston and St. Andrew, my friend Colleen Wintbond. Colleen Wintbond. Not a young writer. <laughs> Followed by Mr. Neto Meeks. Congrats, Colleen. Congrats, Neto. The next award is for Simone Grant to be collected by Shelly and Daly. Simone Grant from St. Catherine. Two awards, one bronze and one silver. Big up yourself, Neto. And next, Simone Grant's award, bronze and silver, to be collected by Shelly and Daly. And next, we have from St. Catherine, one merit and one bronze, Alicia Robinson. <laughs> Collecting two awards, Alicia Robinson, one merit and one bronze. Followed by, followed by from St. Mary, Butylin Atkinson, one merit and one bronze. Butylin, where's Butylin? What a beautiful name, Beauty Lynn. Very pretty name, Beauty Lynn. Beauty Lynn Atkinson from St. Mary. One merit and one bronze. Followed by, from Kingston and St. Andrew, Kimani Tevon Leslie. Followed by, one merit and one bronze award from KC again, Maya Olivia Clark. Maya Olivia Clark. Special big up for Kimani. Maya Olivia Clark next. One merit and one bronze. Followed by. Followed by. From St. James. Teresa, Teresa Gordon. Gooden. Oh, sorry. Teresa Gooden. You see, God, you must have said good, Gordon, a Gooden. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's Gooden. Teresa Gooden. Followed by Ayana Stewart. And next, from Clarendon, Andrea Spencer Rivers. Andrea Spencer Rivers. Followed by, your Andrea, big. That's Aliana. Oh, that's, oh, that's Aliana Stewart. Okay, here we go. Andrea Spencer Rivers now. There you go, Andrea. Followed by Patricia Reyes. Patricia Reyes. 
two awards, one silver and one merit. Two Ola Award. Next, one silver and one bronze again to Faye Malcolm. Congratulations, Patricia. You did well. Two awards, one merit and one silver. And next, we have Faye Malcolm. Faye Malcolm, that's you, Faye. You go, girl. Congratulations. Next, we are from good old Clarendon, Shernet Dawkins Abbott. Shernet Dawkins Abbott from Clarendon, followed by from St. Mary, Rasheen Pierre. Rasheen Pierre, there you are. Followed by, no, no, no? all right, no. Two, two bronze awards for Rasheen Pierre, and two bronze awards for. From from Clarendon. Jamar Brown, two bronze awards as well. And hello, I know these judges. To get a bronze, a good thing that. Yeah. Trust me. To get a merit, a good thing that. Cause them judges mark hard. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm the easy one. <laughs> Two bronze awards, Joshua Parchment. Come to Joshua Generation. We must see the promised land. Kingston and St. Andrew, two bronze awards for young Joshua Parchment. And from Trelawney, two bronze awards to Khadidra James. Khadija James, Trelawney, two bronze awards. And followed by from St. Catherine, two merit awards for Kimola Goldburn. Kimola Goldburn. St. Catherine, two awards, two merit awards. Kimola? There you are. Please keep the applause going. Keep the love flowing. Encouragement, sweet labor. Kimola Goldburn will be followed by from St. Elizabeth two merit awards for Ronaldino Kellon Henry. Ronaldino Kellon Henry. Two merit awards. Going for gold next year, right? Congratulations. And from the parish of Westmoreland, two merit awards for Zander Coot. Zander Coot. Congratulations, young Zander. And, and from Clarendon, two silver awards for Daniel Chambers to be collected by Carlene Munda. Two silver awards and next one bronze and one and two one bronze and two silvers from from St. James, Russian Smith to be collected by Daniel Day. Russian Smith won 
one bronze and two silver awards. Thank you so much, Ms. Bennett, for your wonderful service. And the next award will be presented by Janelle Powell, Miss Kingston and St. Andrew Festival Queen. 2023. Not last year, this year. She current. <laughs> and the first award from Her Majesty will go to, to <laughs> St. Elizabeth, Sharani Ebanks. <laughs> One merit and two bronze. Three Wola Award to Sharani Ebanks from St. Elizabeth. <laughs> and if you come from St. Elizabeth, I am named Ebanks. You may be an in-law of mine. Shirani Ebanks, sing a little bit. Next we have from Tilly Kingston and St. Andrew, Dale McLean, one merit and two bronze awards. <laughs> Dale McLean, three awards you want to get. You see in both moment, eh? Dale McLean, congrats. And from St. Catherine, Hesikan Bolton. One merit, two bronze. Hesikan Bolton, St. Catherine, three awards. One merit, two bronze. To be followed by St. Elizabeth, two, two bronze and one merit, Kimiko Watson. Kimiko Watson. Coming up, Kimika. Kimika Watson, there you are. Take time, hurry up, run, come. One merit and two bronze awards for Kimika Watson from Hint Elizabeth. Next, we are from Manchester, Marissa Daly Crawford. One merit and two bronze awards. Marissa Daly Crawford. From City Kingston and St. Andrew, again, we have one Merton to Bond Awards going to Charlene, Charlene Harris. <laughs> Kingston and St. Andrew, three awards, two bronze, one merit. Charlene Harris is followed by all the way from Trelawney. All the way from Trelawney, three awards again going to Matthew White. To be collected by Heather Daly White. One merit, two bronze awards. Matthew White. To be collected by mommy. Very proud mommy, Heather Daly White. Run come mommy, run come, run come. Tell Matthew congrats. One day I'll read his books. I definitely have to. I definitely will. I'm a good reader. <laughs> Next we have... Aldington Murray, three awards again, two bronze, one silver, to be collected by Sharon Barrett. Aldington Murray, two bronze, one silver. And next we have Tanisha Redley from St. Catherine, Three, three awards, one silver and two bronze awards to Tanisha Redley from St. Catherine. Tanisha. <laughs> Next, we have from City Kingston again, three awards, two bronze and one silver, going to Erika Martin. Erika Martin. Erika Martin. Three awards, one silver, two bronze. Followed by St. Mary, Alicia Athena Clark, to be collected by Jasmine Eccleston. St. Mary is doing well, Alicia Athena Clark. Three awards, two bronze and one silver. Congrats, and next we go back to St. Elizabeth. Gabrielle Evans. 
Gabriel Evans, two merit and one silver award. Gabriel Evans from St. Elizabeth. Oh. For Chief from Clarendon, not St. Elizabeth, Clarendon. You have the path there for God, thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Next, we have Felicia Ebanks from St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth, that. We know the Ebanks, them from, from Black River. Yes. <laughs> three awards, three bronze awards. No means, no small feet there, Felicia. And next, we have from Trelawney, Hermine Foster Smith. Three merit awards from the Usain Bolt Parish. Three merit awards to Herman Foster Smith. And then we go back to St. Mary. St. Mary. Three awards, three merit awards. So Nisha Reed, Nisha Reed, St. Mary. Nisha Reed, three merit awards, St. Mary. Followed by St. Anne, three merit awards to Shernet Jones. Shernet Jones. Followed by, from the parish of Trelawney, Vivine Aniansi. I got it right? Sharon Jones and then Vivine Aniansi. Congrats. And from Trelawney, Vivian Aniansi. Vivian Aniansi. Clap her! And clap me for getting the name correct. We didn't massacre her name at all. And next we have from Clarendon, Renee Morgan. One merit, one, sil one bronze, and two silver. Four awards. <laughs> Renee Morgan. Clean sweep. One merit. One bronze, two silver. Congratulations, Renee Morgan. You clean up properly. Proper sweep. Big writer, Renee Morgan. You'll be published and they'll buy your books. Renee Morgan is followed by City Kingston and St. Andrew. Next we have Vonetta Nurse. Again, one merit, one bronze, and two silvers. Vonetta Nurse. <coughs> Vonetta Nurse. Four awards. One merit, one bronze, two silver. Vonetta. Little about your talawa. Go on, Vonetta. Next, we are from the Kingston of Andrew again. Audrey Ann Marie Malcolm. One merit, two bronze, one silver. One, two, three, four awards. Audrey Ann Marie Malcolm. Big writers, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty, for doing a great job presenting these awards. The next set of awards will be presented by Mrs. Paulette Sutherland, Parish Manager for JCDC, Kingston and St. Andrew. Please welcome her and also welcome the next awardee. The next awardee is from St. Elizabeth, Maxine Brown, two merit, one bronze, one silver. St. Elizabeth, turn up! Maxine Brown, two merit, one bronze, one silver. 
St. Best turn up. And then we go to Portland. Michaela Brown, two merits and two bronze awards. Portland. Congratulations, Michaela. You did well. You are a big writer. And we go back to St. Elizabeth for three plus one. Jason Rowe, three merits, one bronze. Jason Rowe, St. Elizabeth in the house. St. Beth. Indeed. St. Elizabeth is indeed the best parish. My wife said that. <laughs> Black River said that. And next we have from St. Catherine. Two merit, two bronze. Hello, five awards, you know. Two merit, two bronze, one silver. Keisha Antoinette Hill. St. Catherine. Five awards. Two merit, two bronze, one silver. Clean sweep. Keisha and Keisha Henry, Keisha Antoinette Hill. And then we go back to St. Beth one more time. This time, five awards, two merit, three bronze. Tracy Braham. <laughs> Tracy Braham, St. Elizabeth. Five awards, two merit, and three bronze. And we go back to Trelawney. After that, Trelawney again, again five awards, two merit, three bronze. So Vinton Jarrett. Vinton Jarrett. Vinton Jarrett. Go Vinton. Shot man run the world, what them feel like? <laughs> Joshua Atkins, five awards, three bronze, two silver. Kick the Nassian Anjo, Joshua, Joshua Atkins. These young men who are writing give me great pride. This young man, Joshua Atkins, attends the best high school in the world. There are high schools and there are high schools. The word Excelsior means yet higher. <laughs> Joshua Atkinson, Miss Lou High School, that. <laughs> Next, we are from St. Beth, one more time. Legine Myers, three bronze and two silver. Five awards, Lajini, you did it. And folks, how many of you know, I'm, I'm sure if nobody knows this, Amina Blackwood Mix knows this, that today is a National Authors Day, November 1. The JCDC didn't make up any mistake. It was planned right for this day. National Authors Day. Clap JCDC for being appropriate with the connection. Me never know. Me never know. I admit I was ignorant, but now I learn. Once I was dunce, but now I am bright. <laughs> one plus four is five, plus one equals six awards for Lisa Gay Taylor. One merit, four bronze, one silver. No man. Lisa Gay, where are you? Lisa Gay, you are one prolific writer. The book next, right? The book next, publish. Yes. Six awards. Lisa Gay, which parish? Which parish? St. Catherine. Kingston Barn, all of us, under the clock. <laughs> and we're back to St. Catherine again for two merit and four bonds, six awards. Uh, 
six awards for six awards for Stancia Graham. <laughs> Thank you, Stancia. And I got help to pronounce Stancia's name. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the next award is from the Parish of St. Anne. Two merits, four bronze. And this award goes to Ugochuko Durik Durike. Durike. <laughs> Uga Chuko, did I get it right? Dorike. I'm Nigerian. You're Nigerian? Me too. <laughs> but no, I think, I think I'm Ghanaian. And that's where we come from though. Congrats, two merit and four bronze. And this time we go back to St. Catherine again. Three plus two plus one. Do the math now. Three, six again. Ten Catherine. Sylvia Saunders. These are prolific writers doing excellent jobs producing the next generation of published Jamaican writers. From Trelawney, next award goes to three plus two plus one again. Tina Porter. Tina Porter. <laughs> On behalf of Miss Porter. And the next award goes to Manchester. Three merit and three bronze to Sandra Simpson Bennett. <laughs> Listen to me. Clap these folks who get six awards. That is no small task to enter. And you enter six and get six awards. Clap them six times. <laughs> Sandra Simpson Bennett, Manchester. And next we go to St. Catherine. No, jumping moving right up to Portland. One merit, one silver, and five bronze awards. Seven awards to Philadelphia Brown Mackenzie. Seven awards. Good job. She completely mashed down the thing. Seven, the number of completion. Seven awards. Philly Day Brown Mackenzie. I've been giving out seven awards, Mr. Sutherland. Thank you so much. You give out the most award. <laughs> and next, we welcome Mr. Samara Wright Brown, JP, Director of Human Resource Management and Development and Administration, Human Resource Management, Development and Administration at JCDC to present the next level awards. All of a it's hard work, you know. <laughs> And the first award she will present goes to St. James. Two merit, four bronze, and one silver award. Seven awards again to Trisha Williams. Seven. Seven awards, Trisha. You go, girl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Followed by seven more. Awards. Trisha is also the 2020 JCDC Gospel Award winner. Multi creative. And once more, seven awards, three merit, three bronze, one silver to Jaleel Letford from Kingston and St. Andrew. Jaleel Letford. Jaleel Ledford. Please applaud all these wonderful writers. And next we have seven more. Helen Ann Wilkinson to be con collected by Andrew Wilkinson. They're from Trelawney. Seven awards, seven merit awards to Helen Ann Wilkinson. 
Andrew is coming to collect on her behalf. We go back to Clarendon for Titania Manning, one merit award to be collected by Jamar Brown. Jamar Brown for a Titania, merit Titania Manning, merit award. And the next awardee, me no one call any name no. <laughs> The next awardee is my co-worker. She won me eight. One merit, six bronze, and one silver. Suzanne Beadle from Kingston and St. Andrew. Look at that. Go on, Susan Beadle. You're a writer. <laughs> Eight awards again going to Shauna K. Anderson Williams from Parish Unknown. Parish Unknown. St. James, St. James. Three merit, four bronze, and one silver. Shauna K. Anderson Williams. And we go to St. Thomas. Eight awards, three merit and five bronze to Shanice Lou Dixon. <laughs> Shanice. Shanice. Going once. Going once. Let me take it for you if you're not come. Eight awards. Three merits, five bronze. From Parish Unknown also, we have next... You that here? No, okay, so we go to St. Anne. St. Anne, we come from. Natalia Wright, eight, seven bronze and one merit. Natalia Wright, from the parish of Bob Marley and Marcus Garvey. St. Anne, big parish. Best parish? All right, if you say so. St. Anne, Natalia Wright, followed by Nine, nine awards, four merits, four bronze, one silver, Carleen Munda. Nine, woo! Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No man, Carleen, clean up completely. Nine. No man, these nine people, nine more. Nine more for... To the King Nathan Andrew, Kaf Khalifa Campbell, eight bronze and one silver. Khalifa Campbell, Kingston and St. Andrew. <laughs> Khalifa, nine of them. One bag of awards for Khalifa. And if you think that's anything, here we have ten. 10, 10, one merit, eight bronze, one silver, Alan Linfester. 10 winnings. Alan, you write 10 things and win 10 prize. Oh my goodness, Alan. 10 things. And with 10 more things from City Kingston and St. Andrew, again we have Miguel Julien, 10, four merit, five bronze, and one silver. These are some prolific writers. Some people write graffiti upon the wall. Some write them telephone number on the bathroom wall. Some folks write poems and stories and essays enter JCDC and come here today and get award Miguel. winning. Miguel Julian, 10. And then we have from Trelawney, 10 again, 8 merit and 2 bronze. 
Natalie Campbell. You did the right, Brown. Thank you so much for your service. One section done. Please just applaud all the awardees so far and those who are coming next. Now, if we take a small breeze between presentations, it's time for some more musical thrill. Let's welcome back to perform for you the vocal virtuosity of Ms. Erike Chambers, Ms. Shalani Festival Queen 2023. Congratulations, everyone. Gotta motivate yourself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. When you're You're feeling small when tears are in, are in your eyes. I will dry them all. I'm on your side. When times get rough And friends just can't, can't be found Like a bridge over troubled, troubled waters Girl, why won't you sail on by? Your time has come, has come to shine. All your dreams are on their way. See how they shine. I feel like singing too, but I won't. Hello, singing runs in my family. You know that? <laughs> it runs far from me, it's true. But you know, I grew up in Trenchtown, where many singers come from. We used to play a game in Trenchtown when I was a child, let's see. A catching game, very interesting game. It had levels. My level was catchy kissy. All the girls run, and the boys run behind them. Anybody you catch, you can kiss. Fun game, don't it? But you see, some girls are very strategic. If you are a run girl, and the boy will like the behind you, you gonna stop, don't it? I make him catch you. But it was my luck that the girls I found the most unattractive, how they stop. You catch me! <laughs> I'm like, keep running, it's not you more. <laughs> 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 
We're moving to the Gold Awards. <laughs> I must stop talking and drink. <laughs> Catch you. Again. You catch me. <laughs> Please applaud all the awardees thus far. And those who are coming because these now involve the goal level. Other things and goal. Other things plus goal. See on the goal? <laughs> to present the awards, we want to invite Ms. Sony Kane, Director of Marketing and PR from JCDC to present these awards. They may are the gold awards, gold and other things. And the first awardee from Kingston and St. Andrew, one merit and one gold award, Claudine Bailey, presented by Christine Moore. Her mother, Christine Moore, is there on her behalf. One proud mommy. Don't miss Chris, don't it? Yes, one proud mommy. One merit and one gold. Clap mommy. Mommy nurtured a writer. And the next award is from St. Thomas. One silver and two golds. Suzette Bent. People list their parish of birth, right? Or parish of, or, of origin. Because in that where them live. Because the next person here is listed as from Westmoreland. But I don't know where come from. <laughs> Malachi Smith. <laughs> Three awards. One silver and two gold. <laughs> Malachi Smith from Farin. I mean Westmoreland. <laughs> <laughs> Malachi, come with the US dollars there for me, yeah? <laughs> From Clarendon, we have one silver and two gold going to Kazumi Weekly. Did I get your name correct? Kazumi. Look at me, bright man. Kazumi. Kazumi. Sound like La France. Kezume, yeah, it's not like it, it smells nice. Like, ch -ch -ch, I'm wearing Kezume. <laughs> Next, we have from City Kings, Nathan Angel, one more time, two merit and one gold. Tashani Moore. Tashani Moore. More Tashani. One silver, two gold. Sorry, two merit and one gold. Kings, Nathan Angel. And then we are from Manchester. Two silver and one gold. Miss Moore, you go. Miss Moore, and again, and more, more winnings here. From Manchester, three awards, two silver and one gold. Gail Hode. I know that name. I know that name. I know your mother, right? I know that name, Gail Hode. From St. Catherine. Yes. Yeah. Ministry of Health. Yes. No, not this old brain is not so bad. <laughs> I am not just a pretty face. Which is not that? even a pretty face. St. <laughs> yeah. Catherine. One bronze, one silver, and three gold. Michelle Makuti. Makuti. One bronze, one silver, three gold, five awards. You go, champion writer. From St. Thomas, one merit, three silver and two gold, six awards though. Monique Rowe. Monique Rowe. Monique Rowe, the boat ashore, hallelujah. Come, Monique. You have earned the right to be applauded and be awarded. Monique Row, one merit, three silver, and two gold awards. St. Thomas, I go on with things. 
The next award takes us back to Kingston and St. Andrew. After Monique. This person had won seven awards. One merit, two bronze, one silver, and three gold. Nardia Grant. Nardia Grant. Nardia Grant. Seven. Three gold. One merit, two bronze, one silver. You get everything, Nardia. You get everything. Merit, bronze, silver, gold, or platinum left. From Clarendon. Seven awards again. Three bronze, three silver, one gold. Juliet Johnson Clark. Juliet Johnson Clark. Juliet, wherefore art thou? On behalf of. On behalf of. Yes, Latoya. Latoya will collect on behalf of Juliet. Yes. Okay, not on behalf of Romeo, though. That's Juliet. <laughs> Juliet Johnson Clark. Three bronze, three silver, one gold. <laughs> and next we are from Clarendon. Seven awards, three bronze, three silver, and one gold. Conliffe Wilmot Simpson. That sounds like a writer's name, don't it? Like you know, it's your name for a book. Yeah, for a book front, written by. And from City Kingston and Andrew, eight awards, one merit, two bronze, four silver, one gold. Romardo Lyons. Eight winnings, Romardo Lions. <laughs> Big up all the young men who write. They're doing if you write, is the right thing for do. Write love letter. My darling love my little dove. My gizada, my sweet potato. My patty and cocoa bread. Nine going to Hanover. Nine to Hanover. Two merits, two bronze, two sil three silver and two gold. Clive Bowen. We move next to the overall, the overall winners. Class and category of awardee. Thank you, Miss King. Thank you so much. Clap, Miss Kane. And the next presenter will be. The next presenter will be. Not me. These next awardees are the overall awardees in poetry, plays, essays, short stories, novels, screenplays. And we invite to present the award, Mrs. Cleverney White from Swiss, one of our sponsors, to make these presentations. Yes. Am I time to sing now, don't it? Am I time to sing now? Yes? Yes? <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Smith. If you want give me, give me the award next for being the best MC. I agree. You agree? Me write it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the overall winners category now. Big, big winnings now. Big winnings. I know I saw her in the, in the audience somewhere in this lady here. Award you for the Jamaica Creative Writing Competition. Best Junior Poet, Best Immediate Poet, Best Adult Poet, Best Intermediate Playwright, Best Adult Playwright, Best Junior Essayist, Best Intermediate Essayist, Best Adult Essayist, Best Adult Novelist is Pierre Best. Are you ready? Are you ready for the big overall awardees now? Okay. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the category poetry, a drum roll, please. The award for this year for best junior poets. Overall award goes to Susan Francis Brown. Wonderful, wonderful platinum, platinum here. <laughs> it is, it is. Congrats, Susan. Congrats. Keep writing, indeed. And the best intermediate poet, and the award goes to Tashan Lemore. She's not here? So we're going to move to the play category then. Best intermediate playwright. No, best adult poet, sorry. The best adult poet. And the award goes to Kezumi Weekly. You didn't know, you get the winnings. <laughs> And the next, the next awardee I am very happy about because we need more Jamaican plays, well-written Jamaican plays with good characters, not just some half idiot. No, I find that people tend to think that most comedy must have some half idiot. So the award for best intermediate playwright and the award goes to Renee Williams. Best Intermediate Playwright. Let's see those plays being produced on the Jamaican stage and on, on TV and published in books to be read all over the world. Renee Williams. Best intermediate playwrights. And then we move to the essay category. And many of us can write composition, but can't write essay. <laughs> essay writing is a, is, a, is a craft by itself. And the award for the best junior essays goes to. Abigail Mundel. <laughs> Abigail? Abigail? No? I think and I, I think I skipped. No, and I think I skipped. So I'll, I'll skip back up to the best adult playwright. And the award goes the award goes to Mr. Cleveland McLeish. <laughs> best adult playwright. <laughs> Mass Cleveland? You're not there yet, Mass Cleveland? 
Mark Cleveland. Mark Cleveland, oh. You know they there? All right, me they go up, me they go up, me they go up. Go up, go up, like a go up, go up, go up. You know they are? Go up, go up, go up, go up. And we move to the best intermediate essayist. Natalie Campbell. Natalie Campbell. Natalie. Best intermediate essay. Now my dear, good essay get a big ticky. That's all. Now them, them essay I get prize and plaque and all these things. How I spent my holidays. Essay. Ticky. Com that composition. <laughs> that composition, that's true. One page. <clears throat> Best adult essayist. Nardia Grant. Winning, you're winning right now, as Adrian Sasko said. We move to the short story categories. Short stories, I like short stories. I am a short story. <laughs> and the award for the best junior short story writer. Let me just clarify that. The junior is the intended audience, not necessarily the writer. Yeah, so Susan, yeah, if <laughs> we wonder why Susan again, yeah. <laughs> the intended audience. And the best junior short story writer is Colleen Wintbond. That's a surprise, eh? Go on, Miss Colleen. You're winning too, like daddy. <laughs> the daughter of a very famous father, great Jamaican, the great Arthur Wint. Best junior short story writer, Colleen Mintbond. Clap her one more time. And the best intermediate short story writer, the award goes to Nardia Grant. <laughs> Nardia, you're not tired to come up here. You're not tired to come up here, Nardia. <laughs> just, just stay and done. Just pitch one thing to Nardia. No money, go on. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Awesome, awesome work indeed. Show some love to Nardia. And make some noise for the winner of the best adult short story. The writer is Claudine Bailey. Congrats, Claudine. And listen, people. You have to applaud the judges who have to read <laughs> these stories. One box full of story. Claudine Bailey, congrats. Novels now. The novels now. Anybody here read novels still? Anybody like me grew up on Hardy Boys and Bobsy Twins and Nancy Drew? Oh man, anybody read them Edith Blyton books? Yes. Yes. Me read that sardine tin. <coughs> Once I've written, me read that. Yeah man. New Brunswick. Maybe Newfoundland. <laughs> Couldn't have read a book, you read sardine tin. <laughs> Novels now. The winner of the award for the best adult novel, Sherilyn Avery Black.
keep the applause going for these wonderful young writers. <laughs> Next week, she'll be 77. Keep on writing. Keep on writing. Congratulations. Sherilyn Avery Black. Congrats. And if, like me, you watch a movie every now and again, and you wonder why many Jamaican movies tend to have one kind of thematic view, you know, well, it has shot a fire and bad word and ugly and grim. We have to encourage screenwriters to write screenplays. So I'm up to turn out at the winner for the best adult screenwriter is Cleveland McLeish. Mark Cleveland? Not there yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No? Keep right there? Yes. All right. Um, so we're going to call some who, who, got, who we missed earlier. Gold winners. Gold winner, Darcia Smith Joseph. Six awards, four bronze, one silver, and a gold, all the way from St. James. St. James. And from Trelawney, one merit award, and the winner is Esmeralda Miller. Hey now. <laughs> Woo -woo! <laughs> and from St. Catherine, one merit, one bronze, and one silver, Tony Woodburn. <laughs> Tony Woodburn. And from St. Catherine, one merit award, Jared Kirkpatrick Brooks. Jared Kirkpatrick Brooks. Mom will collect on his behalf. One proud mama. Mr. White, thank you so much. Bless you. All right, we're coming down to gravy. <clears throat> Let's invite to make the next set of presentations. Mrs. Candese Walton Levermore, Executive Director of Jamaica A Support for Life. Also, one of our sponsors. And we're now going to present two sponsor awards. Categories Adult Poetry and Junior Essay. And the winner for the category of Adult Poetry is Monique Rowe. Special Sponsor Award, Category Adult Poetry. Monique Rowe. Come money, we're about sure. Hallelujah. Special sponsor award, category adult poetry. Congrats, Monique. See you at Calabash. And the junior essay category for the next award. Junior essay category. Excuse them. And your dreams don't make no one kill them. Them soon see your wings, 
And this next special sponsor award goes to Abigail Mundell. Abigail Mundell. Category Junior Essay. Special sponsor award. She had left and gone? All right now. Yes, I know that I can fly. Thank you. And now the overall awards to be presented by <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Let's welcome to make the presentations. Overall, Overall awardees, Mr. Andrew Broadburn, Director of Arts Development and Training at the JCDC. <laughs> when I call him, I never call him in proper English, you know, he's Andrew Broadburn, you know. Did I do well, sir? Did I get ticky? I get a award? Yeah, give me one. Overall, overall number three. Let's call this person a special writer. And that person is Michelle McCourty. Good job. Go, Michelle. You, you get more things. That's yours, though. You get more things. If you don't want it, <laughs> just saying, if you don't want it. <laughs> hey. Overall winners. Clap them one more time. And overall, second. Outstanding writer, Jamaica Creative Writing Competition 2023. Outstanding writer is Nardia Grant. <laughs> Nardia Grant. Nardia, if you come up here one more time. You deserve to. <laughs> awesome job. Awesome. Awesome job. She get things, you know. Me here say she get things. Me here say she get tablet. And I don't mean Fenzik. Clap all of them. And now the overall, 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 top, 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 top. Before that. Call back Nardia. Call back Nardia. Nardia, please to come back. Uh, Nardia, please to come back. Nardia, please to come back. You also win a special gate prize. You know, you, yeah, like a, a grill gate. <laughs> you have the gate there, yeah, you got a, a brand new gate. And by the way, audience, you all, everybody will say they know, you all win a special spot prize. The spot you're sitting on is your prize. Guard it carefully. Let's invite to the stage Ms. Nepatra Bennett, Corporate Planner from Universal Service Fund. At one big bag with tablet. Oh, 
No, stay, stay. 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 Mit Bennett, please to stay here. For the overall, 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 top, 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 top. We okay? Are we okay? We all right? We okay? We all right? We okay? All right. Okay. All right. Okay. The Jamaica Creative Writing Competition 2023, the best overall writer, the best overall writer, the best overall writer, the best overall writer is Clive Bowen. And Clive Bowen gets from the Universal Service Fund a brand new lap laptop. Clive Bowen, don't leave yet. You have more things to get. You have a laptop? You have to get a lap now. <laughs> you can borrow a wheelbarrow from me. <laughs> and he gets a special JCDC award. That's it, sir. That's it. You want more? Mr. 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 Butler, please stay. You can manage Mr. 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 Bowen. <laughs> and just stay, Mr. Butler, to present this award to Shellyan Thompson from St. Thomas Bronze Award. Bronze Award. Shelly and Thompson, St. Thomas. And now it is time for us to have the official launch of the exhibition of works by writers. The official launch of the creative writing exhibition. And good writers need the support of avid readers. Ready for the unveiling, the, the official unveiling of the exhibition of work. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and uh... We have just one more award that we need to hand over. Mr. 
Is it the right, Brown? Could you just do the honors and hand over this next award for us? This is an award for St. Catherine, one merit, one bronze, and one silver to Renee Williams. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for all the awards one more time. And please show some love for JCDC. For the hardworking staff. And now let me invite back Mr. Damien Radcliffe to move with a vote of thanks. Mr. Radcliffe, sir. He says invite back, invite forward. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for today. Uh, before we close the event, I just want to make a few announcements. If by some chance, because we were going so fast, we might have missed your name and you see your name in the um, program, the booklet, please just speak to the team over there. We're going to do your presentation on me. Okay, so something. Rrr. Second, by any chance in your uh, awards, we may have gold instead of a bronze. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, I I have written something which is void of names, and I'm going to share that with you. But I'd just like to acknowledge and thanks for the production team, Omo. Um, Carlin to um, everybody who is a part of the production team, all the marketing team led by Miss Kane, um, my awards table, thank you so much, to the Queens, one, two, three, Kingston, St. Catherine, and she come from Trelawney, uh, thank you so very much, to Lady Sutherland, thank you so very much, um, to Lady Right, Brown, thank you. To most miserable in the world, Mr. Andrew Broadbaugh, thank you so very much. <laughs> um, I, I just want to also acknowledge our um, ED, Mr. Salmon, um, who had to make a little exit. Um, but thank you so much. Thank you to Andy Mack for um, holding things down. Thank you to Travis. For those who are in our WhatsApp group, by the way, um, I'm Damien and that's Travis, okay? Right. Okay, on to the vote of thanks. I just want to say it's really nice that plenty of people come from country, very far. St. Thomas, big up on herself. St. James, Westmoreland, my support lad in the house, big up on herself. Awesome. Um, you may have noticed a lot of young writers um, came up. Vinton and so on, they are a part of a group from uh, um, Trelawney, senior citizens group from Trelawney, and I just want to make a, a, a shout out to Miss Tina Porter who put together um, the effort to make sure that these writers had a voice and they yielded positive results, so big them up. Thank you, Lady Porter. The unveiling of the, um, the exhibition, it will be touring, ladies and gentlemen, in every parish whatsoever. Um, and so, as soon as that is ready, we will tell you. Um, there's an online version that you can just click of a button. You will also get to see that. So, in, when, we, when the vote of thanks is finished, I'm just going to ask you to go over there. You cannot take it. You will be locked up. I mean, just I tell you, yes, it's your writing, but uh, our will no. Um, and we're going to show the rest of the world your remarkable works. Um, so you can just have a look. Please don't touch it. 
No feel up, feel up. And I bend down market and I linst it something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just look, you know. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. Um, also, yes, you may take pictures. The poetry display will be done on the outside as well. Um, so you can view on your way out. We do have some refreshments. So if you need to refresh yourself, there's the bathroom. I'm joking. It's at the back. Um, so... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I also want to acknowledge and, and follow Blacker's footstep. Oh, thank you, sir, Blacker. Where am gone? He's so short. Give a round of applause to our wonderful MC, Mr. Owen Ellis. Um, thank you, sir. Um, there are people who represent their parish, but, you know went off for vacation and probably is back and we just want to acknowledge those persons who left straight from the airport to the award ceremony right david mcadam not calling your name and also malachi smith and plenty others who fly down and think um <sighs> dr spencer did an excellent job not just as our master uh, um or guest speaker clapperman yes But for those who may have missed it, we do have recordings of our workshop or online um, workshop. And I'm just encouraging you to go to JCDC YouTube and you can find it there. I mean, the work is just amazing. I don't know nothing. And when I sit in that, I feel like I'm bright until it ends. But I'm just telling you, the, the, we have Eugene Williams, we have Dr. Spencer, we have Dr. Tomlinson, um, Brian Heap, Dr. Um, Janet Williams, and they deal with a whole host of um, categories that we enter. And I'm just encouraging you to go online and check those out. So ladies and gentlemen, poets and writers, one and all, we gather to give thanks as this competition's curtains fall. For the JCDC Creative Writing Competition 2023 has been a voyage of words, a symphony to see. To our sponsors, stars who illuminated our literary night, your support, like ink, flowed to make our dreams take flight. You've nurtured the seeds of creativity we sowed. With your kindness and grace, our gratitude overflows. And to the adjudicators, the compass of our poetic way, you've guided us with wisdom, led us through night and day. Your discerning eyes uncovered stories yet untold. In your judgment, our talents and passions unfold. For all our entrance, your words were a mere work of art, a tapestry of tales, each one touching the heart. Thank you for sharing your visions, your unique voice. In, our, in your verses and prose, you've reached the peak. As we close this chapter, the 2023 editions end. We look to the future with pens we'll continue to mend. With gratitude in our hearts and stories still to explore, let us embrace the words that connect us even more. In unity, we celebrate the power of the pen. In this creative journey, we'll meet again and again. With thanks to all who made this endeavor grand, our voices shall flourish united in the land. Thank you, one and all, for the magic we've created in the JCDC's creative writing comp competition celebrated. In the world of letters, we've made or mark and spark with profound appreciation, we, you've left your heartfelt mark. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. She no fussy, she just living her life She told me that she wants to go to country tonight She wants to see where I'm from, she wants to go for a ride The next day we go a hell shop, gunning screechy We had a food and then we see the man a easy Till she hear the music, I'm feeling her shoulder To hold she go on the hood and say she a raver Boy, when you are part with me A good time is guaranteed 
up your vibes and get tired. Tonight we are go touch a party. Oh, and when you are part with the weed, a good time is guaranteed. Fill up your vibes and get tired. Tonight we are go touch a party. From the get your baby, me erase all of the number 10. Your race the boy, so I write, don't make you see none of them. No, we do my future bread, so no more can't look back again. Some of them are five or six, but girl, you are 10 out of 10. You're real, I'ma love it, yeah, you're not pretend. You are set the trend, baby, you are a gem. The love for me, I said, I hope that you can comprehend. Them from anywhere, and 